Hey, what's good guys, Akalon here, welcome back. As you can see, I'm not streaming currently, and that's because last night we were reacting to the Baldur's Gate or the Diablo 4 developer live stream, and within about half an hour, I was so incredibly bored with the live stream that I just gave up. I was like, fuck it, let's go play Cyberpunk, I can't do this anymore. This is too much for me. Uh, <laughs> so this is just sort of my thoughts off the cuff about the live stream. Uh, as it turns out, there isn't uh, too much content to cover in two hours, unless, of course, you pad the living f out of the content and ensure that you over-explain pretty much every single detail. Uh, it turns out you need about five minutes in order to cover all of the content and then a preceding one hour and 55 minutes in order to re-explain all of the content, except this time, explain shit that really doesn't matter. Like, for example, why there's more stashes in towns. Yeah, bro, you just had to say more stashes in towns and everyone would be happy. Why? Because there aren't enough stashes in fucking town. It's as simple as that. Uh, <laughs> you, you didn't need, uh, you know, minutes in order to explain that. A few words would have been enough. Uh, the fact of the matter is, we were promised a a... a expansion or a season so filled with content that two hours would simply not be enough to cover everything for this season that was a lie uh, the only thing that took up a long time was them basically over explaining a bunch of bullshit that no one cares about anyways uh, and would have been probably arguably much better served in a blue post i would have been far more interested in them explaining their thinking or their philosophy as it pertains to some of the changes that they made, rather than going into every single change and explaining every single change, even to the point where it doesn't matter. There's one point where they explain how they've changed teleporting to Nightmare Dungeons, no longer teleports you to the Nightmare Dungeon, but rather teleports you into the Nightmare Dungeon. And then they proceed to explain why this change was made. Well, we know why this change was made, because the previous one was fucking stupid. That's why. Don't have to explain it. As gamers, we would have done it the fir this way the first time around, right? That's how we would have done it, because we play video games and we know that it's fucking stupid to get a loading screen and then end up outside the dungeon and then go into the dungeon and get another loading screen just to get into the fucking dungeon that you teleported to five seconds ago, because that's where you want to be in the first place, bitch. I want to be in this dungeon, otherwise I wouldn't have teleported here. So what's the fucking point? Well, yeah, the point is to make you feel like there is more in this patch than what there actually is. Ultimately, the content that is there isn't too bad, although still thin as fuck if you compare it to literally every other ARPG on the market today. It is still very hard to just justify Diablo 4 as a next-gen ARPG, when in reality, uh, Diablo 4 is, is, is like first-gen. Right? It's like, we are so many generations on now with games that has la have launched so many years before Diablo 4, and Diablo 4 still doesn't seem to even have an, a, a modicum of content uh, compared to all of the other ARPGs. Not only that, but I think one thing that is becoming increasingly clearer and clearer to me as the, you know, as we learn more about Diablo 4, it's that the developers don't play the game themselves, they don't even play ARPGs themselves. Because... It is so they made multiple mentions throughout this live stream consistently saying as we developers play the game and then also listen to your feedback and i found that odd i don't need to keep telling you that i play the game if it's obvious that i play the game you know like if i'm making changes and the changes that i'm making obviously shows that i understand as a gamer what is going on here I don't need to tell you consistently that I am also playing the game. The only reason you would consistently feel the need to tell me that you're also playing the video game and then you're making changes based on the fact that you're playing the video game and also based on the feedback of the player suggests to me that one of those two things isn't true. Like either you're not making changes based on the feedback of the players or you're not playing the video game. But you keep saying that, suggesting one of these two things you really want me to believe even if it isn't true. And since we are making changes that the players have asked for, I'm gonna go with you don't actually play the video game. 
Mostly because you still don't seem to understand the basic reason why people are unhappy with Diablo 4. You, you still don't seem to understand the basic fundamental flaws that your fucking game has, and you still don't seem to understand that that isn't enough content. Right? You, you say, like, as if we're morons, they go, oh, we have brand new mobs. All reskin, by the way, guys. There's not a single new mob in the in the game. It's just reskin from mobs that already exist within the game. So they apparently think we all have Alzheimer's or some shit. We just forget that stuff happened. Collective amnesia. There we go. Right. We just don't remember the last season. Uh, and of course, they pretend like this is some massive thing. There is one part of this that I thought was actually super, super funny. Uh, just as far as I'm concerned, at least super funny. Uh, I'll, I'll quickly bring it up because this, I think, actually could break the game. All right, so here we have it, right? This is the way the content is going to work now in the new season two. Firstly, let me just say, uh, I can't think of anything that triggers me more than this 71 to 100. And here's why for anyone that might not be able to follow the logic here. If you're a player that hates Whispers, or hates Helltide, or hates Nightmare Dungeons, you are pretty much fucked. Because you have to do an indefinite amount of Whispers in order to get enough resources to summon Echoes of Vershawn. Then you need to do an indefinite amount of Helltides in order to get enough uh, materials in order to summon Gregory, the Galvanic Saint. Then you need to farm an indefinite amount of Echoes of Vershawn and Gregory the uh, Galvanic Saint in order to get enough resources to summon Doriel King of Maggots, right? So you need to, this basically is a cacophony of what the fuck is going on. This is what we call engagement design, right? It, it is to make sure that players are spending as many hours as possible in your video game doing multiple things in order to fully gear themselves. It's not designed for fun first, it's designed for engagement first. Why? Because engaged players tend to buy more things on the shop. Uh, all of the research show this, this research comes straight from the mobile industry because they have basically made it a fucking science. They can tell you that a player that spends six hours or more per week playing your game are far more likely to buy than a player that spends one or two hours a week in your video game. This basically turns almost all of the players that play into payers that will support the cash shop. What should this have looked like? Well, it should have been one uh, material that is used to summon Echoes of Vershawn, the Beast in Ice, and Gregory, the Galvanic Saint, and you should have been able to get that from Whispers, Nightmare Dungeons, and Haltide. Like, all three of those should have dropped that type of material, Maybe, depending on the difficulty, more or less. And then you can summon all three of those bosses with that one material. And then all, both of those bosses, the Echoes of Vershawn and the Gregory the Gavanic Saint, will drop uh, mats so that you can eventually summon Durio the King of Maggots. That is what we call optimized for fun. Because I am giving the player the ability to play the things that they like. The way Blizzard sort of offsets this is by saying, well, you can trade this. So if you like Whispers, but your friend likes Haltide, you can just trade amongst each other all the excess that, that you have. Yeah, why not just then make it one thing and, and you know, drop this whole engagement nonsense? It, it, to my mind, it, it's just completely useless. It, it is absolutely disgusting farming as far as I'm concerned, especially Lord Zeer as well. You're going to have to do world bosses and Legion events just to be able to summon the harder version of Lord Zeer. This entire thing basically just smacks of how can we get more people to spend more money on the cash shop? That's it, right? Uh, it is uninspired as far as I'm concerned. It's boring, it's bland. I don't get why anyone would be excited by this. But hey, maybe I'm just fucking wrong. Any I'm going to go live soon anyway, so if you're seeing this, I'm probably live at the moment. Come join me over on Twitch. Links are in the description down below. If you like this, hit the like button. If you didn't, fucking hit the dislike button. I don't really care. But this, this shit needs to stop. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.